Joe Griddle. Uh, thank you for coming along. We're out here in beautiful Landers, California, uh, out in the middle of the desert, and we just had a summer storm come through here. It was intense, lightning, it was amazing. But it's broken up enough, we're gonna go ahead and make Mojo Carnitas Tacos today. And that's a special request from Frank Ledwell of Outdoor by Four Magazine. That's Outdoor X4 Magazine. Uh, they're gonna be doing a uh, special ba uh, backcountry diner section article here coming up. So go check out that magazine. It's awesome if you're into four buying. So today, uh, these are the ingredients that are gonna go in to these amazing tacos. Uh, we're gonna start off with our uh, Boston butt or pork butt, it's called, it comes from the shoulder. Uh, that's gonna go into a Dutch oven for about two and a half hours and get fork tender, almost like pulled pork, but we're gonna have some spices in there that changes the flavor profile tremendously. Um, so we'll get to that. These are the ingredients for our pico de gallo that's gonna go on top of it once they're done. And of course we've got our limes for finishing it off and giving it that snap. Um, over here, it, you can see we've got our Dutch oven. It's getting, it's ready to go, ready to have the meat put in. Uh, we have to get the charcoal going. But I've got three onions in here, slivered up, um, and then I'm going to put the meat right on top of it. So, uh, and then, and then after the meat has been uh, is moist, tender, uh, fork tender, we're going to fry it up on a mojo griddle, uh, along with the. Uh, uh, tortillas and then we're gonna assemble our tacos and they're great this is a perfect outdoor outback recipe uh, that will satisfy a lot of people uh, the kids will love it the adults will love it so we'll be back to you we're gonna start the charcoal real soon and get this going it takes two and a half hours in the Dutch oven before that meat is ready to go on the mojo Okay, now it's time to uh, get our uh, Dutch oven set up and getting it ready for the coals. The coals are getting up to temp right now. Uh, I got my dog Mojo here who is helping and keeping all the bad squirrels and things away from me. So now what we do is we got this whole pork butt. I don't know, it's about seven, eight pounds worth of, uh, worth of pork. And we have the onions on there and these are just little slabs, basically inch, inch and a half, whatever, it doesn't matter. And don't worry about the fat on, on these because it's gonna boil out over time and it won't be left with much at all. So we'll throw these in there. I'm gonna have to, the big bony guy, I'm gonna sit right there. Okay, fill that puppy up like so. All right, now we're gonna throw in a little salt I don't know, teaspoon, so, like that. Okay, and then the two magic ingredients that convert it into uh, carnitas is cumin. And we're gonna do a liberal amount of that, sprinkle it around, like so, down in the sides, a couple teaspoons or more. And then the next item is cinnamon. That gives it a really incredible flavor when you fry it. So a couple teaspoons of cinnamon on the top like so. Alright, and now for the, what, uh, the thing that imparts an incredible flavor to it is we fill the rest of it up with beer. So uh, I've got two beers. I've got a stone. Remember my name is Stone, so I couldn't resist. So this is an IPA. You kind of want, IPA is a little heavy, but uh, I've got my trusty Mickey's here to tone it down a little bit to fill this thing up. So, no. Okay, so we're just gonna let that beer roll on in like so. And, more beer like that oh look at that it's fizzing 
This pork can't wait to jump on the mojo griddle. All right, so now uh, we're gonna put the lid on, like so. And when I get the charcoal uh, out and ready to go, I'm gonna I'm gonna put as many as charcoal briquettes here on the bottom that'll fit, and as many as I can here. It really doesn't matter temperature-wise. All you want it to do is boil, and we're gonna do that for about two and a half hours. The coals are ready. We're gonna put them on this stone here, and then set the uh, uh, Dutch oven on top of it. So I'm just gonna fill this up with charcoal. Mojo, can you help? No. Okay. So that's gonna be a nice hot layer below. Set that puppy on the top there. And then we're gonna put uh, charcoal on top. Okay, so I forgot a critical ingredient. We're about an hour into the Dutch oven cook on the uh, uh, of the carnitas, and so I'm garlic. Got to have garlic, and you can never use too much. So I'm gonna use about a half a head here. I'm just gonna slice it up. It can be big chunks. We'll put it in, and wait till you see what's happening in there when I put it in. Okay, so I out of the penalty box and sprinkling a little bit after forgetting my garlic so I'm gonna put that in right now so why don't you come on in and check this out look how we're an hour into hour and 15 minutes into this cook and, oh look at that it's just boiling and bubbling and brewing in that fine brew we put in there so I'm gonna I'm gonna start putting in these this garlic Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. Oh. So we got another hour, hour and 15 minutes on this puppy. And uh, it will be fork tender, ready to go on the mojo. Our uh, pork is still in the Dutch oven. It's becoming carnitas. And it'll be another hour or so. So I thought we would just make our pico de gallo that goes right on top of that delicious pork inside of the uh, taco shell. So here we go. We got the ingredients are all right here and let's make pico de gallo. Uh, first is we've got uh, a couple of onions chopped up, Res uh, just regular fine. We'll throw those in there. We've got uh, three tomatoes, medium tomatoes in there chopped up throw those in there uh, we've got two jalapenos fresh jalapenos uh, and we're gonna throw those in I chopped them up real nice and fine and then of course we got one bunch of cilantro and a friend of mine named Don thinks cilantro is sexy I don't know I'm a guy what do you think anyway here we go There's still more in there. Let's pop those in. Then, so let's mix it up a little. We're gonna throw a little salt in there. Like about that. We're gonna do some fresh ground pepper. Like that. And then got olive oil you can use uh, canola oil it doesn't really matter and just spritz a little bit of that in there like so and then we've got some apple cider vinegar you can use rice vinegar you can use whatever kind of vinegar you want and we'll put a little of that in like so and then you just spoon it around like so the carnitas has been bubbling in the Dutch oven for two and a half hours now. I believe it's done. We're going to open it up and check. So here we go. Oh, look at that. Come on in. Come on in. Check that out. Look at that. That is perfect for carnitas. In the first of our alternate endings, we're going to use a Weber barbecue. I got the coals going there. They're ready to go. So uh, I'm gonna spread those out 
across the bottom grate like so. Woo! Woo! That is hot. Loving it. Mojo loves hot. So there we go. We're gonna take our mojo, right? That fits right on the rim of the Weber barbecue. Now it's just gonna heat up and then we're gonna make some tacos. Oh my God. We're gonna make tacos right now. We're gonna crisp up this meat. So here, I'm gonna grab some of this. I'm gonna get some of those onions and stuff in there. Look at that. It's like heaven. Throw that on the mojo griddle. Oh yeah, baby. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Look at that. The onions with it, everything else. Now, come on in and listen to it sizzle. So, we have my favorite tool now, my favorite mojo tool. It's a drywall mudding knife. We're gonna chop this up. Since the mojo's made of steel, you can't hurt it, right? So, that's chopped up. Oh, let's, let's get that butter. There we go. Now, we're going to do throw a little oil on there to help it crisp up. And, of course, a little salt. We've got a nice crisp on this carnitas. We're going to pull it over to the side. And now we're going to just make our taco shells, soft taco shells here. So let's throw those on the grill. We're going to put a little oil on right there. And like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. All right, so those are going to go real quick. Get them just warm and soft, and yeah, that's it right there. Look at that, that's perfect. Time to build those awesome tacos. We're just gonna take some of the meat, put it in the shell. I got a couple shells here for one person. Oh, oh my God. Now we're gonna take it over to the table and build those bad boys up. Okay, look at that. So, first thing is a little pico de gallo, like so. Okay, the Mojo tacos are made. They've been built meticulously. We, or I, sorry, you can't, am going to taste it. that baby there's so many flavors going on it'll blow your mind this is something that is easy to do on one of your outback trips everybody will go nuts they will love you I'm gonna have another one this is so good you got your cilantro you got you got uh, there's so much going on in here it's Unbelievable.